What's up guys, today I am reviewing the Amazon Basics DSLR camera bag, not these fine shoes right here, which I have to clean up, but uh, this is a bag I got for my trip, I'm actually going to China in about two days, no, seven days, almost. Um, so I'm going to be leaving and I decided to get a nice camera bag because I hate carrying camera equipment and my laptop and all this random wires in a little laptop case that I had before. It was like a laptop sleeve. That one is still good for other trips, but this is going to be a little more um, a little more convenient for long, uh, long distance travel, especially taking lenses and stuff. So uh, let me show you guys some of the features. So you get a first pocket um, here. Yeah, I got orange inside. There's also gray, I believe. So I actually store my laptop charger in here. Um, and I put it right in there. Um, and you can see that the material is uh, kind of like a, what is that life raft material? The waterproof-ish life raft. Not life raft, uh, life jacket material. The, the stuff on the outside, that's kind of what it is like inside. I'm not a really big fan of that, but uh, I, th I mean, a lot of backpacks are made like that, so uh, it's not really a negative of this, uh, of this particular backpack. So it has a lot of, s so basically you can see it has a lot of storage compartments. Um, this, this back pocket I'm just basically going to use for like toothbrushes and stuff. Um, and uh, deodorant, random stuff that I could take with me. Um, this next pocket is my favorite and probably the primary feature. This is made of really soft fabric. I don't know what it is, but uh, it, it attaches to Velcro really well. So you get to actually compar compartment, oh my God, make compartments um, pretty easily with these little blocks that they have um, and then you have two big blocks right here one two and then you have um, these little straps that can also go on top so let's say to keep in a um, I don't know a camera or a stand or something so it doesn't fall out maybe something thin that could slide down potentially into other stuff and scratch it uh, so let me do this real quick quick um, so let's see what I got uh, here I have my computer mouse and uh, it's a Razer Naga something something uh, has a lot of buttons and this is great for travel so I can set up a real mouse in the hotel and work faster and then I got my uh, little card my SD card reader for um, for the camera SD card obviously um, I got an extra lens for the oh for the Sony a6000. It's a Sigma lens and That goes in there and I need to probably reorganize a ton of USB cables that are very randomly organized um, See the before I had a laptop sleeve and I would have these cables all over the place just like in the pocket just spread out and then I would untangle them and I think that is part of the reason I kept getting stopped like literally every trip by security they would search my laptop they would um, little do the little swab on it and um, open up all my bags and especially carry-on they would they would check all the carry-on and then keep me waiting and I would sometimes miss flights because of that so um, anyways next pocket have my anchor Power Core 2100 that I did a review on earlier. Um, you can see, I think it's the last video I posted. And then some more charging ports or whatnot. I probably need a travel charger as well. Should probably get one of those. Um, let's see, two extra batteries right in here. These are pretty dope. This thing is pretty cool. Um, I got it on Amazon as well. I get everything on Amazon, unless it's like not available. Um, or my local Walmart or something. Ah, One-handed. Anyways, this thing basically, you can use this strap to attach to like trees and shit. And then um, basically strap it in there. 
um, and then it opens up to be a stand for your camera there you go so you could place it down on a rock or some shit and this actually swivels it's not a 360 swivel but it has a pretty good range of movement so you can set it up for the perfect angle which is pretty cool I think so um, this pocket is clearly empty and now this is my charger um, I got it with these two batteries with these type of batteries I'll actually post a link for the a6000 uh, Patona so this charger is great because it doesn't have to plug into the wall directly you can have it plug in uh, through the USB cord so I can actually charge my batteries from my power bank or just plug it into the wall like a like a um, what do you call it? Uh, shit. Um, like a phone charger and uh, have this as a free moving kind of object so I don't have to take the whole thing with it. I can just plug one of these in and then swap the cord out. Uh, and then the last, yeah, um, I think I covered all the pockets here. So uh, you can see the material on the outside is a very hard, um, very hard, I think it's a cotton blend. Um, but it, it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like shit. And let's see. Oh my god. My last pocket, the heaviest of them all. Also the same type of mesh in there. My laptop that I travel with, um, which is getting outdated. And I should probably update to something um, that an adult would use. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool backpack. I really like it and I highly recommend it. It's pretty comfortable. The straps are adjustable. Has these little clip, clippy clips and um, the clippy clips on the side as well. Uh, it works perfectly. I like it. Um, oh, well, see, this is what you need these little straps for uh, because I didn't zip it up and then all my batteries went flying. So that's something I'll have to figure out how to do properly. Maybe even put them in here. That, that's actually save space. Um, so yeah, let's hope I don't get uh, stopped at security this time because uh, my layovers are going to be really tight. So I'll see you guys in the next video or whatever. Uh, I don't know when that will be coming out. Uh, I'm going to China, so in two weeks maybe. I don't know. Anyways, see you guys. Bye.